this video is going to go over um, calculation of the number of days or possibly finding dates utilizing a business calculator and I actually will do a comparison uh, in as you can see on the screen here for example number one to show it to you in uh, manually and you'll see the the difference and hopefully as you see that because sometimes uh, I find that people who want to get into uh, the business side don't don't always want to invest in this business calculator and it's definitely worth it just for this one simple um, concept of course there's many others so you see here three examples um, there's examples that you have a starting date and a finishing date okay so that's example number one so this one right here so that's example one you see another example where you have a starting date you are told the number of days and you don't know what the final date is and then a third example where you actually don't know uh, what the starting date was uh, you only know the ending date so possibly maybe today and then if you're going back into the past 270 days okay so what was that starting date so you can actually do all of this on a business analyst calculator and I will show it to you using the um, business analyst number two from Texas Instruments uh, shortly and for example one I will actually show it to you also by the manual method so that you can kind of see and then judge for yourself if you want to pick up a business uh, analyst or not so this is what a business analyst actually looks like so I took a little photo here and in order to be familiar with calculating the number of days or finding dates on this calculator you have to be uh, familiar with a few buttons here so obviously you've got to turn the calculator on and I will show that to you I'll actually walk you through the whole thing and what I want you to keep in mind is that we're going to need to know okay so our second function here we're going to be utilizing these buttons right here okay so CPT compute enter and then going up and down and if you uh, take a look I'm going to kind of zoom in here so that you can see it much better so towards the bottom there is date okay so as you can see it's just above the number one and we're going to use that um, button right here to actually enter the function of the date so that we can use it and I'll show you how to do that uh, shortly okay so let's take out this business analyst and let's try to compute okay and walk through these particular examples so let's now use the uh, business calculator to try to find out the number of days so we'll take a look at those examples that I presented to you so you're, you're staring at the business calculator so this is uh, my business calculator so let's turn it on and now if you want to get into the uh, date function so we're going to have to press second function okay and notice that there's the date so i'm going to press one and that enters us into okay the um, date function so you have basically so these arrows up and down so notice that it says dt1 so that's date number one Okay, I can, so I'm going to use the up and down arrow, so I'm going to use down, so that's date number two, and then if I press down again, okay, it gets us to the number of days, right? So this was, I guess, one of the old calculations that you had, and so let's enter our first date. Now, our first date was February 7th, 2020. So the way that we enter this, we always put the month first, so the calculator has to know. Now, the February is the second month, so I'm going to enter uh, 2. Okay, so notice 2 is entered. Now, in order to separate, so next we have to actually uh, press the dot. Okay, so the decimal. And after the decimal, we basically say, okay, so there was the seventh day. Now, because it's the seventh day, I have to put 0, okay, 7. So that's the seventh day. And then the year was 2020. So you only entered the last two digits. So that's 20. So I'm going to put two zero. So this is February, which is that's the two. Then you put the decimal. It was February 7th, 2020. Now, once you do that, you have to press enter. 
okay? So as you see here on top. So that now translates it back into a date. So notice it's February the 7th, 2020. Now that was our first date. Now next, okay, so I'm gonna use the arrow down because I wanna get to the second date. And the second date was June 15th, uh, 2021. So now June, okay, so June is the sixth month in the year, okay, then decimal. Now it's 15th, so this is 15th, and it was 2021. Again, we only entered the last two digits. And again, I have to press enter in order for it to translate it back into a date. So now we have translated it into a date, and now we have our first date. So notice if I go up, okay, so I go up. So that was our February 7th. 2020. And if I go down, it will give me the June 15th, 2021. Now, if you want to know the number of days, all you have to do is you go down and then you hit compute. And the computation is 494 days. So that's how you would do that first example. For our second example, we're not finding the number of days. Those are given to us. We actually want to find out what the date was. So let's try to do that. Okay, so I'm going to turn this on again. So we have second function, okay? We're going to go to the date. So that brings us to the date, okay? And then we have our first date. Now, we know our first date. So the starting point for this example, it's January 10th, 2019. So January is the first month, so one, decimal, 10th, so 10, and then 2019, so that's going to be 19 right there. So now I have that, and then I'm going to hit enter, and that gives me January 10th, 2019. Now I'm going to go down to the second date. We do not know the second date. We want to compute it. We do know how many days there were. Okay, so and that was 180. So let's say maybe, I don't know, it was a GIC or something, or maybe you borrowed money for 180 days. So here, again, I'm going to press enter. Okay, so that has now um, remember the number of days. So DBD stands for days between dates. And now I'm going to go back up. Okay, so I'm going to go back up because I wanted to compute that second uh, date. So now I'm going to hit compute. And this tells me, okay, so notice it actually even tells me the day. So it was Tuesday. And it's going to be, so 7th, so that's July the 9th, 2019. So that would have been your second date. So it's amazing to have this, you know, to do this manually is such a pain. And I hope that you uh, appreciate this one. So that's our second example that we have. The third example is we kind of want to find what the starting date was. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so again, you obviously don't have to always turn it on and off. Okay, so if you have it already on, it's great. Okay, so second function date. Okay, so it returns me back in here. And now I don't know what the starting date was. Okay, so right here, what they do tell me is, so let me go down. They tell me the ending date, and the ending date is February 7th, 2020. So February, so that's the second month, decimal. Seventh, again, don't just put a seven. You have to put zero seven because it has to remember two of the digits. And then it was 2020, so you only put the last two for that. So that's for the second date. So I'm going to hit enter so it remembers the date. Now, it also told me the number of days, so that was... 270 days, so 270 days that I had. And again, don't forget to hit enter after you do that so it remembers. And now let's compute. So we have the second date, we have the number of days, we just don't know the starting date, so now we have to hit compute right here. So I'm gonna hit that, and there you go. So that's actually, so it was Monday, and it is May 13th, 2019. All right, so that was the third example that you had. Now I will return to example number one and actually show you the comparison and contrast when you're doing this manually. 
Now you can do it manually. You need actually a kind of a calendar of days and I'll show you that in a second. So let's try it. So this is how I would approach this question if I wanted to do it manually. So I always like to draw for myself a little bit of a timeline here. So I'll draw that timeline out and once I have the timeline, so I'm going to just go ahead and, and plunk all the dates on this. So this is 2020. Okay, so we have 2020. And it says February 7th in 2020. So I'm going to just drop this down, February 7th, 2020. Now that's the first date. Now the second date right here, so that's in 2021. So what I like to do is, so I'm going to divide this up. So this is the starting point of 2021. So that would be right here. And now in 2021, it's June 15th. So it doesn't have to be exactly to scale here. It is just more for visual purposes that I want to do this. So this is June 15th. So I have now labeled and basically what I'm trying to find is I am trying to find, so right here, I'm trying to find the number of days. Okay, so right there, from one date to the other. Okay, so let me first, so the, the first thing that I actually need when you're doing this manually, you, you do need to have what days in the year these are. So for example, February 7th, which day that is, and then June the 15th, okay, which day that is. And for that, you need a little bit of a calendar. So I'm gonna scroll down here and I'll show you so what a calendar looks like. And this you can find, okay, you can probably search on the net. Um, okay, so I actually provide it as well. And so this particular calendar that you have, okay, just basically, tells you, so if you wanted to, to say, so for instance, February, so February is right here, okay, and that February, and we were talking about February 7th, okay, so which is there, so we know that this was the 38th day. Now, you have to be careful because sometimes you have leap years. Now, 2020 is actually a leap year, and if you want to know kind of a little bit more details, um, I will add a, a little video above here. Okay, where you can look at, you know, actually working things out manually, where I talk about this a little bit more, if you like. But coming back to this example, so February 7th is the 38th day. So I'm going to just write that down for myself. So 38th day. Now, June 15th is 2021. That's not a leap year. So here we have, so June, and then on the side, so 15th is right there. And that is the 166th day in the, in the year. So I'm going to put that in here. And I'm going to need those in order to calculate the number of days in between. So what I like to do is I calculate the number of days always per year. So first, I'm going to take 2020. Now, if I take 2020, okay, so if I have that, and I'll put it in here. So this is all of 2020. So 2020, because it is a leap year, has 366 days. So what I'm going to do is, because I am not going over the 366 days, I am actually just okay interested in these days right here in 2020. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 366 days, which is all the days, and I'm going to subtract. And what I'm going to subtract right here is I'm going to subtract the starting days. And for that, I needed, okay, so this 38. Okay, so I'm going to subtract this off. And then I will know exactly, okay, so how many days that is. So if I have that, then... 366 minus 38, now you can do it on your calculator or in your head, okay, you will find out that this is just 328 days. And that's what this means, okay? So here, what I have, okay, so this is 328 days, okay? So from this point, basically, to this point. All right, so that's how many days I had in 2020. Now, if I go into 2021, this one is much easier for me because I am actually... Okay, going all the way straight, okay, to June 
15th, and I know that June 15th was the 166th day. There was nothing to subtract there because I'm actually counting all the days. So if you want to know the total number of days, well, you can just add these up. So 8 plus 6, 14, 1, 8, 9, okay, and this would be 494 days. And if you go back and remember, this is exactly what we got on our calculator, but clearly it was much, much faster than doing it this way. All right, so this just showed you the manual approach and hopefully has convinced you to maybe make a purchase into the uh, business analyst. All right, okay, so thanks for uh, watching this one.